Well, good evening. This is Kent. I'm uh, I'm just gonna go out right now and uh, get my uh, charcoal fire fire uh, going, charcoal grill going. I'm uh, gonna barbecue a nice steak I got in the fridge, and uh, thought I'd bring you along. I'm a little short on uh, starter fluid, but uh, hopefully, you know, even with the cold, it'll uh, catch and uh, get going. It's pretty early. If if it fails, I can bring it in and cook it on the on the stove in here. But here's the state of affairs this Sunday afternoon. I uh, I'm a little bit low on battery. I'm down to 34 state of charge, and uh, which is uh, I don't want to go below 14 or b below 20, so that only leaves 14 percent for the night. So I shut the electric heater off here, and uh, that's fine. Uh, I can just go with propane. The ca the camper is all heated up, and then I'll uh, I'll have some more. Uh, I'll have electricity in the morning to uh, help get going, and uh, and then I'm going to run to town and uh, DC fast charge and come back. So that's the plan. So it's uh, 18 degrees outside and uh, 57 in, and then in my car it's 26. I've got a thermometer in there, and then 56 in here. 5:45 Sunday afternoon. The Vikings are victorious over the Bears today, so that's uh, very good news. I watched the last minute or two because I was been working on getting my uh, television going, and I did get it going, and it's great. I barely use this new phone or new uh, television, and uh, I'm really happy with it. It's got a nice, uh, nice uh, picture, and I can see it at angles too. The other one I had. You know, if I sat over here, you know, I'd have to tip it down or something. So, yeah, it was good while, while I had it, but uh, I'm going to move on with a better one. And then this one is a smart television, too, so I can hook it up. But, yeah, I shut that heater off, and I'm down to, like, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 kilowatts. So that's 500 watts, and uh, that's fine. I'll be running my laptop in my television tonight, and I'll be running the lights. Maybe I'll shut a few lights out. I normally keep my lights going because it's so much easier, and it's just a small wattage draw, and it uh, helps, helps to be easy. You know, I, I come in here like twice an hour or something, and uh, if I'm fumbling for lights, it's too much. So I'll take you outside. I got a light out there and I got a headlight on. So should be able to see stuff. And uh, and the camper's got lights too. So eh, hope for the best here. I'm not sure. When it's cold out, charcoal has a tendency not to want to start as good. Here's what I got. I got a starter can in here for the uh, charcoal, so I'll take that out and set it inside the the grill here. Set that there. There we go. So that's my starter amount of charcoal. I'm gonna go with just that. I'll set you down here and get some starter fluid going. And uh, this light here is a lot better. I'll uh, put that there. I got a lighter on me. So let's see. Maybe if I set this light on this uh, folders can, it would be better. There we go. So, juice it up, get my lighter ready. I don't know, we'll have to see. Sometimes I don't use, I use too much. Yeah, I'm gonna have enough. Uh, let that soak in a little bit. 
Oh, there goes my coffee, coffee can. There we go. It'll make its way to the bottom. So this is going to take uh, quite a while. I can already see I'm going to need more juice on there. It's just burning on the top. I'd like to get it burning on the bottom. Guess I don't need this light anymore, do I? <laughs> A little better, but yeah. Should be fine. I'll show you around the place. It's a beautiful night. There ain't just not even any breeze at all going on. That's my snowmobile or uh, snowshoe trail. I just went over to the clearing there, there and back twice, so it packed a nice trail. There's my snowshoes. And they are uh, Iverson Snowshoes, Inc. Shinga something, Michigan. <laughs> I'm getting a little low on uh, propane too. I gotta fill two bottles up when I go to town tomorrow. I might as well get this little uh, addition to my camper car shut up and ready. I won't, I'll be spending a night tomorrow night, but I'll show you what the car looks like. I've been just straightening things out, getting other things done, and that's the thermometer. And two nice pillows. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this uh, goose down blanket style sleeping bag is fantastic and here's uh, I showed this on a previous video but here's the layers on this uh, mattress I got uh, an electric blanket <laughs> with the controls right up there by my side then I got a uh, mattress you know protector and then I got a fitted sheet one nice little layers and then I was going to show you right up here this this back of the door here can get pretty cold I tried it one night for about an hour and gave up on it so I'm going to put up like a pillow or something against that when I go go to bed keep my feet warm <laughs> And then here I'm going to have, uh, I got two uh, Zarper, Zarpak, I think they're called. They're uh, a dehumidifier. There's like a bag of silicone or something, and it absorbs moisture. So I'll strap those on there. So I'm all set. And I'm going to have, uh, instead of using the HVAC, I'm going to uh, use a little space heater inside my car because I don't think the HVAC is up to it. It just doesn't do, do the job. I've tried it and it just starts blowing cold air. So, and then I'll have a small fan in there. I was gonna test it tonight, but I don't have the juice. <laughs> which is fine. I'll get back early tomorrow and I'll test it then. I'm gonna just bring the car up to temp and uh, run the heat heater in there and see how long it takes to get up to temp. And uh, yeah, this is gonna go good. I'm gonna throw a few more briquettes on there. I'm surprised at how good it's going, but you know, with the cold temp, it might take more charcoal. 
to maintain a hot hot fire. Whoa. That should get going again. I'm pretty confident. So take and give it a puff of air. Well, we got more juice, no problem. <laughs> Yeah. A little more juice and a little more charcoal. I'll need more though. So, anyways, I'm keeping warm. I'll give you a picture, show you what it looks like inside the camper. That's pretty neat. Get the internet going. Weed poles are working good to clear the windows when uh, it does melt when I get frost on the window on the inside. So, liking it. I never thought of this camper much as a winter uh, a winter camper, but uh, it's doing good. I've I spent cold weather in here during deer hunting season, but uh, it's never. Uh, been that great. Well, I'll get back to you. Time to go and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye now.